One of Nuno members loved to do an origami and she always works with like this. It's very simple way. So this is the um, original idea. Yeah, like this. And keep doing. Like this. Oh, that's great. So, and then we made two molds right. and the fabric inside, then press with the heat. Right. When we started, I think, beginning of 90s, right. and we didn't know how to make this printed. We are not printed for, uh, like a technician. Right. And we <coughs> made just one mold and tried to use this one. <laughs> so and then use chopstick, right. but I thought there's something wrong with it, and I visited one of the oldest prints um, factory in Fukui. Mm -hmm. Actually, they did for Miyake mm -hmm. and uh, Mr. Inoue. It's uh -huh. an expert of right. the um, print, and when I visited there, they have a old collection. Some of the beautiful paper mold from France they found uh, from the market that has two mold and uses very, very thick paper. Right. And I was, oh, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I stopped using chopstick, finding out how to make it in, uh, onto fabric. Mm -hmm. And that was really, really fun to think about. Maybe using like pin or crip or mm -hmm. um, a chopstick <laughs> <laughs> to make the shape. Right. So after um, making this shape, mm, we used color paper pressed with the heat and the vacuum mm -hmm. to get the color. Mm -hmm. This gradation naturally came out mm -hmm. and we didn't uh, figure out when we did uh, experimental piece and finally we were really, really, really happy with this because the fabric has a space and between the space and the color seat uh, get into the uh, layering part to get the natural color shading. So beautiful yeah. and we love it.